What's up, y'all? It's Marshall Couture, also known as Plex of Donkey Draw Projects dot com, and today is day number twenty-eight, <laughs> I think, of one hundred days of making paintings for a hundred days. <laughs> so, um, today I did some painting. Um, I was going to just do my 30 minutes, that turned into oh, a lot longer, <laughs> an hour or so, probably an hour and a half or so, um, but I had fun, had worked on a new concept on one of the um, little squares that um, Dee Dee sent me, and um, yeah, enjoying it, and glad that I was able to kind of come up with an idea. I just came up with it today. Um, one thing I'm having a hard time with that I'm not sure about because I'm learning and all that is uh, basically mixing colors and then like when I go back to it another day like what do I how do I get some of the same colors I was using um, like, it's hard to get it exact. I don't even know how to do that. So, plus when you mix it, like, or you're trying to get it exact, but then when it dries, it might be a little bit of a different color. So that's a little different. Um, and then I, I kind of flip-flop back and forth, like, I guess maybe I should establish my color scheme before I go in, but then you want to change that up maybe too, so <clears throat> I don't know, maybe I'd have an easier time working with gouache, because I know you can kind of go back and forth with that, like re-wet it or whatever, so I don't know, learning. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know, I guess that's about it guys. Um, Thanks for watching. Day 28. Talk to you tomorrow or whenever. Peace out. What's up, y'all? It's Marshall Couture, also known as Plex here of DonkeyJawProjects.com. Day number 29, almost 30. <laughs> um, so today I worked more on this boxer um, painting, this boom boxer painting still a little lost not sure what to do um, I need to study some more color theory and really kinda get my strategies down just more about painting and all that um, it's like it's kinda weird cuz it's just like I think I have a plan and then I kinda just get like lost in color and um, you know and then there's always that color matching thing and I find myself like re-glazing over things and like totally changing the color again and I don't know it's kind of weird <laughs> so there's a lot I need to learn obviously but um I'm working at it doing my 30 minutes um today that might be all I can do today I'm not sure but if I do do more it will probably just be um you know, painting in my sketchbook, kind of playing around and stuff. So, yeah. That's about it, guys. Day 29 done, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Plex, Marshall, that guy here. <laughs> day 20, day 30. <laughs> What's going on? Um, So... Today's just going to be a quick one, real, um, real quick, um, kind of a palette cleanser day. Um, didn't really love what I was doing yesterday. I uh, wasn't sure where to go next. Just kind of felt the need to just study and figure something else out for the moment. So today is going to be like a practice day. So what I'm going to do, I haven't done any painting yet, but I will be. Um, but I'm going to just play, 
you know, with paints, it's going to be more of a practice thing. I'm not going to work on any, like, actual pieces. Maybe something will turn into a piece. That'll be fine. I'm cool with that. But I'm just going to grab my watercolor um, sketch book, paper book thing, and uh, play around. And I've been just watching a lot of tutorials today, reading some of the books that I have um, on painting, and just uh, pretty much that's it. Um, so I won't have like a speed painting for this section, but that's okay. Um, and then tomorrow, we'll be back on track. But I'm going to let that practice be, you know, part of the 100 days because being as new as I am at this, um, I just, to go full head on in or whatever, like, it's... I like the make it till you break it or fake it till you make it <laughs> um, idea, but sometimes I kind of feel like, you know, you got to take a step back and kind of figure some things out first. So I'm going to let that be part of the thing. As long as I'm putting paint down is the point. So that's about it, guys. Uh, Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you tomorrow on day 31. Peace out. What's up, y'all? It's Marshall Couture, also known as Plex. And today, on um, day 31, I worked on some paintings. Um, basically, uh, I was just kind of got home, was a little frustrated with something that happened. Um, basically, my... Uh, lot I freaking have to get another tire in my car and it's just like this happens way too often with my stupid car I have like these um like these weird tires or whatever that for some reason like I just all at any time like I hit a pothole which they're all over the place because they've been plowing all winter long um, and haven't been able to fix that yet because it's still snow on the ground and whatnot. And we're getting more snow Friday, yay! <laughs> um, but there's potholes everywhere. I try to avoid them, but it's like impossible and I'm just sick of getting flat tires. And so, whatever. I have to get a new one tomorrow. It's no big deal, but I'm just tired of it. Got frustrated. And I was just like, I gotta do my paintings, so I kind of went at it, at it with a vengeance, and, um, you know, I was like, screw all the hemming and hawing <laughs> about, you know, what am I going to paint and whatnot, um, I'm just going to pick a, a, an elephant picture from, <laughs> from online, and, uh, something that has to do with, with a gas mask or whatever from online, because those are two things that I just probably paint a bunch of different kinds of those because I just like that subject matter um so I was just like whatever my go-to subject matter that I'm into let me just start shaping them out now I have two and I didn't even do like a sketch I was like screw it I'm just going right to the to the um to the canvas and I did and looks good to me so far um i wanted to try the tech this technique i saw lacree fine arts doing um lisa from lacree uh one thing that's different with watercolors i guess is you know you're working with transparency so you, you kind of do this layering up thing and um but with transparency so you want to leave all your whites you know your highlighted whites because going in back in with white opaque paint kind of looks might look weird or whatever so one technique is to leave you know your highlighted whites and work from light to dark and let the white you know on the canvas you know be what keeps the the picture bright and whatnot and then you know you work with a lot of glazes and stuff um, I don't know you do that with acrylics too but um so but I didn't realize that with acrylics, one of the techniques is you can kind of work from dark to light because it's opaque and it, it makes sense that you can do that. And it's kind of cool because you'll put like a dark layer down 
that for the most part won't be seen um, but it'll shine through a little bit especially if there's some kind of texture um, her example was she was doing like a, um, a, um, a lion or something or, or yeah I think it was a lion and um, you know she put her darker umber orange or whatever down and when she started painting the fur, you know, with different colors and, and different moving up and up and up with layers, you know, some of that darkness shone through, so it kind of showed that dimensionality of the fur, um, you know, and you could see, like, the more shadowy hairs in there because it was already in there, the dark, so it's kind of interesting, and you don't end up seeing hardly any of that dark layer that she painted, but it's it shows up enough to give it that dimensionality which I thought was cool so I said well let me try that technique with what I'm doing now so I got one and I'm trying to work with color schemes too so I was just like whatever I'm just gonna choose you know it doesn't matter what color scheme like I'm not gonna sit here and like be so indecisive about okay what color scheme we're gonna use what subject matter I just you know <laughs> it's kind of good I guess that I got frustrated today because it's just like whatever I'm just gonna this is the color scheme I'm going with um, I, the background was green and red for the elephant one so I picked like uh, what did I pick okay so I was gonna do like a split con co um, complementary type of color, color scheme which is basically you take two complementary colors the opposite of the wheel the color wheel and then you add like one that's a little bit off the center of one of those other complementary colors so it's like a triad and um, so there's two complementary colors but then you kinda got some analogous stuff going on as well so I did that so I went with the the red I used the purple as my analogous color so I went in with dark purples and I'm gonna lift out the red with that and then there's gonna it's gonna be pretty red um, for the most part and then one thing that's interesting is you know with complementary colors you would think okay so you wanna get like a mix of fifty percent like fifty fifty almost you know to have some kind of color balance like that's what you would think in your mind but actually that kind of makes for kind of an ugly painting um, so and one thing I already kind of have a mistake here is that the green and the red are like Christmas green and red in the background so I'm gonna have to kinda go in and probably desaturate some of that um, we'll see but we'll see how, how it all works out but um, it's better to have like more on one side and then maybe like some little spicing in of the other color and you don't want it all saturated colors because it'll just start to look ugly um, so I'm so such a novice at this like I understand that but when I'm going in trying to do it it's it you can get like lost in color it's weird so I'm trying to stick to to certain things and then with the other one with the gas mask I decided to do kind of more of an, an analogous style painting um, last night I did a monochromatic test um, in my sketchbook that came out pretty good but I was doing it with watercolors and I was having a hard time finding like some mid-tones to go and, and like the lighter tones were a little bit too light so it almost looks more like there's only two tones even though there's like three layers or more so I don't know and then going back like go, like going back and forth like going back into the mid-tones after I've already put the darks I was having a little hard time. I think, I don't know, I'm not that comfortable with watercolors. I'm not really comfortable with anything yet, but I think I'm getting a little more comfortable with um, acrylic. So we shall see. But I'm happy that I got some stuff done. I got a couple layers down here and there, and two new paintings started, small ones. And um, also, another cool thing is a friend of mine is um, opening his own like comic shop. Um, so that's really cool and he's going to have that up in about a month and he contacted me today about um maybe having some paintings in the comic shop to sell so that's really cool um so i'm going to be trying to grab some bigger canvases um soon and i'm going to do at least two for now um 
probably something that's on more on the fan art side. I might do some mashups, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, something for that. So that's cool that I have a purpose for some of these paintings, like an, a definite purpose. So yeah, I guess that's about it, guys. Um, thanks for watching. And, um, you know, day 31, <laughs> it happened. <laughs> and I'm probably going to get into a little more painting. I might get into a little more tonight, just playing around. I don't know. I'm also trying to learn some other things, so I might just do a lot of sketching or something. But, uh, art, art, art. <laughs> you know, when I have these trials or whatever, it kind of makes me, like, I got to balance out the scales with, like, hitting, hitting the art, you know, because... I'm sick of, like, everything stopping me from making a career out of this, you know, so it's one of those times where you kind of get extra determined, even though, and one other thing is I'm very determined right now to do my art and, um, and make it a living, but one thing is each day is different. I feel differently. Some days I feel blast, sometimes I feel excited, sometimes I feel whatever, um, and I don't always feel determined, but that's one thing about being determined is it doesn't matter what's going on, you're determined. So even though I don't feel determined, I'm determined I'm making it happen anyways, even when I don't feel it. So um, that's kind of what's going on right now, and I'm just determined I'm going to make it happen. I don't care one way or another, make a living with the art. I'm excited about making comics and stuff too. Um, music i got projects in the works so that's about it guys thanks for watching and i'll talk to you tomorrow on day 32 of making paintings peace out what's up y'all it's day 32 i think um of making paintings for 100 days and today's one of those days i gotta just had to squeak that 30 minutes in uh, I'm not going to have time tonight. I wasn't able to do anything yesterday, so I'm not counting yesterday. I tried, but I had to get my tire changed, and I had to go to the doctor, and that plus work, and it just was not happening. Um, so, you know, unfortunately I had to skip a day, but today, again, I, I wasn't going to really have much time because I got something going on after work, but... I was like, I got to get it in. Um, so during lunch, I squeezed in my 30 minutes just barely. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm happy. I was, I, I had fun doing it, you know, <laughs> for that 30 minutes that I could work. So that's cool. Um, I've been able to do a lot of sketching and stuff. It's like I have tons of time at work because we happen to be slow. So I've been actually kind of doing some sketching at work. But it's like I don't have my paint supplies there or anything. And to bring them, I mean, it's just a, would be a pain, a real big pain. And it, I don't know, it would just be weird. Like, I mean, it's an, bad enough I'm sitting there sketching, <laughs> even though my bosses don't care. But, you know, if I start breaking out a paint set, <laughs> it's probably not the greatest thing. Um, so, I don't know. Anyways. So I squeezed it in, um, got some more progress done on the elephant painting and the gas mask painting. Uh, and I guess that's, that's it. Um, I was going to even try to get this uploaded, you know, early, like today, Friday, um, so that Saturday I could focus on creative things but just every time I try to like catch up on all this kind of stuff uh, during the week it tends to get pushed back into Saturday and then even Saturday sometimes gets screwed up so just gotta fit it in where I can get it in you know unfortunately but yeah I guess that's about it guys um, I'm enjoying the when I'm able to do it and uh, you know just keep it up <laughs> so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you tomorrow peace out what's up y'all it's Marshall Couture also known as Plex of DonkeyJobProjects.com which 
I don't know why I keep saying that because this is all going to be one video. <laughs> so um, you might hear me say that a few times, unfortunately. I guess I'm getting used to this still. <laughs> so today is day 32 or 33. That's one thing. I'm, lo I'm kind of losing count here. <laughs> so maybe I should start writing these down so I can say it right. But So I just did my 30 minutes. And, um, yeah, I, uh, hopefully I'll get to more. I really want to do some more painting, but I have a ton of other stuff to do. Um, I want to make some more videos for the week, um, of other things. And I have to do other things too, like my taxes <laughs> and go to the store all kinds of fun boring stuff that you don't want to hear about <laughs> um, so yeah today I worked um, only on the um, gas mask piece I should probably come up with a better name for it we'll see what happens <laughs> but I just worked on um, defining some more of the values and stuff and trying to stick to my monochromatic theme but uh, who knows, maybe it'll end up being a complimentary piece. Because I did put some green in it, and it's mostly yellow and orange and red. But uh, the green is more for the shadows, and, and it might not be seen in the end. Um, I just, you know, it's one way to, I guess, develop your shadows is to use the complimentary color um, within the shadows. So, I don't know, I'm trying it. <laughs> I think I might need to start using a smaller brush for the next one because um, it's starting to get more into details so I don't know yeah it's over there I'm looking at it <laughs> um, but I think it's coming out pretty good um, so we shall see uh, I have a lot more ideas I want to do I'm really excited to get to some other ideas too um, so, but I'm, you know, this is just kind of sitting here and it's, it's here and ready. So I just kind of, when I'm like, I, I got to get my 30 minutes in, let me just jump on these real quick, uh, make it happen. And that's what I do. So I guess I don't have a lot of great insights, um, but this is going to be the last one for the update. So the video should, will be going up today. Uh, I also have to do I still haven't recorded my podcast because I was going to maybe do an interview today but so far oh maybe I have gotten a message back so that might be happening right now so I got to do that got to upload this video um, and get it all edited and all that so we shall see things going on fun being had <laughs> alright guys um, thanks for watching and um, Tune in next week for the next update of making 100 paintings. Making, <laughs> I can never do this right for some reason. Making paintings for 100 days. So, peace out guys. Thanks for watching. <laughs>